This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Hey, what's going on Weavers? Tim here again. And have you ever wanted to carry a knife like a mercenary from every 90s movie? If so, this video is for you. The Merc Carry is a great way to carry your fixed blade knife, whether it be for camping, hunting, or just general concealment. This downward cross draw motion is very natural and it just works. So here is how we do it. In terms of materials, I'm using Coyote Brown for my core strands. This amount will vary for your body size. And my personal favorite, OD Green for the main color. The knife I'm making this harness for is my SC Azula. But whatever knife you're using, you'll need a sheath that has a lanyard hole in it. And it will have to be able to retain the knife in the sheath while upside down. I've also got some cord locks, a silicone one, and a plastic spring one. But these are optional-ish. To start off, I'm going to fold my Coyote Brown strand in half and from there pass my midpoint through my silicone cord lock. And from there I'm going to move the cord lock to about the middle of the cord. This is going to form the two arm loops, and of course one side will be open with the two open ends. Now make sure you test this for your personal sizing as we're all different, and for reference I wear a medium sized t-shirt. So if you're larger you'll need more cord. Now with my main weaving cord, the longer piece, I'm going to start the midpoint behind the two strands on the closed loop side. From here, I'm going to start tying cobra knots. The right side strand goes over the two core strands, the left goes over the right, behind the core strands, and then out the crook on the right. Pull tight and close the knot. The lead strand is now on the left, and it goes over the core strands and under the right strand. The right strand goes behind the core and out the crook on the left. Pull tight and close the knot. Remember the lead strand always stays on the front. After two cobra knots, I'm now going to split the core strands and start tying cobra knots exclusively around the right strand. So using the exact same knots as before, now start tying knots around the single core strand on the right. Continue tying going down this single strand and make your way around the closed loop. Repeat the cobra knots going all the way around the loop until you've made your way back to the starting point. Continue weaving your cobra knots all the way around your closed loop. If you find your cobra knots twisting or being irregular, it's because you're not keeping the lead or same strand on the front of the core strands. So just be wary of that. When you get to the end here, try to squeeze in the very last cobra knot so that it's a nice tight closed loop. At this point, you can snip off the excess paracord, melt with the lighter, and press down on the ends to lock them in place. As mentioned, there are plenty of uses for carrying a knife this way, as it makes it easy to draw, and you may be carrying a knife for camping, hunting, or even self-defense, if it's legal in your country. It's always good to be protected, and speaking of protection, here's a brief message from our sponsor NordVPN. While a knife is an excellent tool and means of protection in the wilderness or wherever you are, it's also great to have something that can protect you in the digital wilderness of the internet that is. NordVPN is an excellent service that protects and encrypts your data when you're browsing the internet through your PC or mobile device, so that hackers can't steal your sensitive information like your banking information or PayPal passwords. The internet is also full of malware and included with NordVPN is Nord's CyberSec. While connected, it will filter malicious traffic and actions that occur in your browser when visiting websites. This can stop web pages from loading assets or malicious ads that are damaging to your computer. There are also a bunch of other benefits while using NordVPN, such as accessing region-locked content and websites, bypassing censorship, peer-to-peer -peer safety, and also allowing you to access your bank accounts abroad without being locked out. So if you're looking to be protected on the World Wide Web and also take advantage of its other great features, I'd highly suggest you check out and use NordVPN as I have been so myself. Check the link in the description down below and use my discount code for an exclusive offer. And to continue our project. Now during the making of this project, I realized this middle silicone cord lock isn't really necessary as it ended up just being a placeholder to maintain the midpoint of the harness. So if you really want, you can actually remove it, but I'm just going to leave it on for the look. We're going to continue by taking our next cord. This is one of the two shorter ones, and we're going to repeat the same steps. Tie two cobra knots right next to the midpoint or the cord lock if it's still in place, and this is around both core strands. 
Then split the core strands and start going down one of the two core strands. Continue tying the cobra knots down the single strand until you have about 6 inches or 15 centimeters left on the single strand. Leave more if you want to tie a fancier knot, but I'm just tying a double snake knot. Going back to the opposite strand and where we started, we're going to tie cobra knots down the second strand and leave a few inches like the previous strand. And once you have both ends done, and in this situation, we're going to stack them on top of each other, and then with one set of the cobra knots, I'm using the one on the back, and I'm going to tie the two final cobra knots around both core strands to link them together. You want to make sure the two cobra ends are long enough so that the joined section is just a bit below your armpit. With the cobra knot sections joined, we can now snip off the excess cords, melt the ends and lock them into place. From here we have our two remaining strands and I'm going to put a spring cord lock onto it. This is optional but I think it's nice because it holds the knife in position on the connected end. And to attach our knife sheath I'm going to pass both my running strands through the hole in the sheath and tie a double snake knot. Depending on the hole size you'll need to tie a knot large enough so that it doesn't slip through. Now my cords came out a bit short, so here's a clearer view of the double snake knot. Just grab the cord up top, make a loop around the opposite strand. The opposite strand wraps up and around the top and then through the loop you just made. Then simply double up the cords, pull tight and cinch the knot closed. What's good about keeping my cords this length is that I can actually untie the stopper knot and change out the knife sheath and retie to accommodate a different one. So don't snip off the excess cords unless you don't plan on changing the knife out. And once we have that all done, the harness is ready to be worn on your shoulders. And as you can see, you can cross draw the knife from concealment with ease. It's super cool and just a fun way to carry your fixed blade knife. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and will make good use of it. Feel free to subscribe for more creative paracord content. Also weavers, let me know if you like this method of carry or if you have a different one that you prefer. Once again, a huge thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video.